All right, now in this video, we'll talk about the product rule. All right, in the last video, we talked about the chain rule. So now we're going to talk about the product rule. Now, what is exactly the product rule? Well, a product rule um, is a rule to help us differentiate an expression that looks a bit like this. Okay, so um, whereby it is not um, efficient or logical for us to expand the entire expression that we're supposed to differentiate okay and uh, we cannot simply rely on chain rule as well because chain rule yeah is some for something with a uh, power as we discussed earlier on so this is a uh, obviously a product okay so so what we have here is a uh, is a term okay multiplied by another term and we're supposed to differentiate this uh, so as the as the rule as the name of the rule implies product rule uh, means that there must be a product happening here okay so how exactly to perform this product rule is actually very simple so i'll just keep this video short so that we can go through one or two more examples on this okay so generally let's try to call this th th generally there will be two terms right so there will be a two terms of multiply together to form product so let's call this term this okay so this is how I like to teach my student this okay and uh, let's call this red color term that okay so there's a this and a that right so according to the rule it's very simple all right let me just write down the formula for you all right it says that if I were to differentiate u multiplied by v which is you know two terms multiplied together the formula says we keep the u we differentiate the v okay plus we keep the v and we differentiate the u okay so this is the formula so now instead of u and v we're going to use this and that okay so it's not that difficult so but uh, i'll use color code to help you all right so there's a purple color this and a red color that so what we're going to do is we're going to keep this so we're going to keep the purple color all right keep means totally untouched copy exactly the same thing next what we're going to do is uh, we're going to keep this differentiate that okay so we're going to differentiate this red color bracket and uh, basically we just differentiate as per what we will do normally so we differentiate 3x squared we get 6x okay minus 5 okay so this is the derivative of this red color that okay so what we're going to do next is we're going to plus okay now what we're going to do is we're going to keep the red okay because we keep the purple differentiate the rate so now we're going to keep the rate all right keep the rate differentiate the purple so this is what it becomes all right differentiate the purple we're going to be a bit more careful because this is actually a chain rule involved right so there's a chain rule inside the product rule okay so differentiate this we just differentiate as per normal so uh, we'll bring down the four okay and uh, the 2x minus uh, sorry 2x plus 1 will now have power 3 reduced by 1 and we'll differentiate the inside of the bracket which will end up with an extra 2 okay so there you go this is it this is actually the product rule already all right you already done the product rule so it is not that difficult okay all we left to do here is to simplify and more often than not you are not going to expand Okay, you're not going to expand this 2x plus 1 whole thing to the power of 4. Okay, so you're just going to simplify a little so that uh, your answer look a bit neater. Okay, so you have 6x minus 5. Okay, 2x plus 1 whole thing to the power of 4. Plus, of course, this one you will have a 4 multiplied by a 2 and that gives us an extra 8. Okay, so this 8 you can multiply into this bracket if you like. You can multiply it in to get 24x squared minus 40x. Okay, but it's not necessary. You can factorize it out as well. So there you go. This is it. This is the solution, the answer to this particular product rule, simple product rule question. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Alright, so for this next one, next example, uh, we also have a product, okay, which is um two uh, which we can call this the purple term and the red term right so let us uh, go through this one more time just so that you are confident enough to practice some by yourself okay so let's take a look at this all right what we're going to do is we're going to keep the purple all right we're going to keep the purple and we're going to differentiate the rate so differentiate the rate um, this is actually another co chain rule so uh, we just have to differentiate as normal so put a big bracket Alright, we're going to bring down the 5 and we are going to have 
x square minus 5 okay and uh, the power will be 4 now okay and we have to differentiate the inside because it's a chain rule right so there will be an extra 2x okay and plus now we're going to keep the rate term all right we're going to keep it, keep the rate term and we're going to differentiate the purple term and that gives us 2 all right x cubed plus 3x and so it will be power 1 now because um, it used to be power 2 and now it will be power 1 and uh, well it is not necessary to put a power 1 there anyway but we got to differentiate the inside okay so we have extra terms like 3x square plus 3 okay so there you go this is it this is the product rule in action okay but of course we have to simplify this a little okay and this in this particular example is you, you also realize that you you have common factors okay for example uh, you do have a common factor like um, x square minus 5 there is an x square minus 5 as well so it's a power 4 there's a power 5 here all right we also have a com another common factor which is x cubed plus 3x and there is also another x cubed plus 3x here okay so so what we're going to do when we simplify this we got to simplify by factorizing everything out okay so what, am I, what exactly am i talking about for example okay um well maybe i should use a different color let me um, highlight using a different color okay so this this x cubed plus 3x x cubed plus 3x is common okay so since it's common we can take out the common factor and uh, when whenever we take out the common factor okay let me use back the blue color so not to confuse everyone so whenever we take out a common factor we always take out the one with the smaller power so in this case we have a square in this case we have a power one of course we take out the power one okay and then we look at the green term highlighted green here uh, this is power four and this is power five so again we'll take out the smaller power okay which is power four all right so after we took out one of it there are, there are two here okay in this particular term uh, there are two here so we take out one we left with one more okay so this is your basic algebra and your basic uh, factorization okay so you should be pretty good at this all right just as at times it may appear to be a little bit more confusing but it's not that difficult it's just a bit confusing okay so uh after we take this out we left with one uh, we take out the whole thing the entire power 4 and we'll be left with 0 nothing nothing left. okay but we still have the 5 and the 2x that gives us the 10x okay plus and uh, this green term now right you have actually there there used to be 5 in this term 5 of them so we took out 4 now we'll be left with 1 only okay only 1 and uh, this purple term which is x cubed plus 3x uh, we already took it out so no more right no more such term inside this term um, and we'll be left with this 2 and this uh, 3x square plus 3 which if we multiply in we end up with 6x square plus 6 okay so there you go this is how we factorize and of course uh, after we factorize we got to simplify a little bit further so um, in this particular case it seems to be a bit tedious to expand out everything so uh, we have no choice otherwise the answer will look um, awful okay and simplify so uh, usually the question will require you to simplify it completely so let's draw a, a very big bracket here so let's be very careful about what we're doing here so we're going to multiply in uh, let me use another color to highlight to you what's going on we're going to multiply in the 10x okay uh, into these terms and uh, we are going to be left with 10x power 4 plus 30 x square okay so so um, this term is done this multiplication is done so we're left with this now this one will be slightly more um, complicated than what we did earlier on because this one we have um, let me use another color for this um, so that it will be consistent so x square multiplied by this x square multiplied by that and you have this multiplied by this and this multiplied by that so all in all you will end up with let's try uh, uh, a plus okay, inherited from here so x square multiplied by 6x square gives me a 6x power 4 x square multiplied by 6 it gives me a 6x square and negative 5 it gives me a negative 30 x square and this gives me a negative 30 as well okay and of course uh, the last step the final step that is uh, what we have to do 
in order and usually this is how the answer at the back of a textbook look like okay the simplified and factorized form so we need to simplify this even further and of course uh, let us uh, try to see if we can see any like terms obviously there are quite a few uh, x power 4 there's another x power 4 here so this gives us a uh, 16 okay I'm sorry 16 it should be here right 16 x power 4 and we have a uh, 30 x square uh, minus a 30 x square how nice okay cancel away oh but there is another 6 x square so uh, we have a positive 6 x square and uh, this done 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 oh okay minus 30 okay here you go all right actually if you want to you can actually factorize out the two all right because since uh, every term here is divisible by two but i think this is good enough or well this is bad enough 